All right, so this time I'm going to do integration. I'm going to be doing finding the C value. So watch what happens when I derive all of these equations. Uh, y dash equals 2x. Y dash equals 2x and the constant disappears. Y dash equals 2x and the constant disappears. Y dash equals 2x and the constant disappears. Now, what happens when I integrate them all? Well, when I integrate them all, I get y equals x squared plus c. 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 Finding the derivative is a slightly destructive process because it gets rid of our constant, and we can't find it back again. All I can say is that there is a constant on the end, there might be a constant on the end, in this case there was no constant on the end, or the constant was zero, uh, but I, just by looking at that equation itself, looking at that equation, looking at that equation, looking at that equation, I can't say that that was a half, I can't say that that was negative three, I can't say that that was two. That's why there's a plus c on the end, okay, because um, multiple different equations give the same derivative. Let's look at a question where we've given enough information to find the c value. Let's see this one here. If dy dx equals x squared plus 2x and y equals 1 when x equals 1, find y. Okay, so this is a standard integration question with a little bit of new extra information that we'll find useful later on. So, we know that y equals the integral of x squared plus 2x with respect to x and Therefore, we know that y is equal to 2, oh, my bad, derivatives there for a second. We know that y is equal to x cubed over 3 plus x squared, uh, 2 divided by 2 is just gone. Uh, and then we have this plus c on the end. And because we have this new information, we can now find out what that plus c is. Because I can sub point... 1, 1 uh, into y, or into the equation, I guess. All right, so let's do that now. Uh, it will get 1 equals 1 cubed over 3 plus uh, 1 squared plus c. So 1 equals 1 third plus 1 plus c. So c equals 1 minus 1 third minus 1, which is negative a third. All right, um, that's pretty much all of our working. All that's left is the therefore. Therefore, y equals the equation we found, x cubed over 3 plus x squared minus 1 third, because that's our c value. Same sort of question, just a different way of writing it. Find f of x if f dash of x equals 3 minus x and f of 4 equals 2. That means when x equals 4, y equals 2. So, f of x is equal to the integral of f dash of x, 3 minus x, with respect to x. Uh, now, integrating that, I'm going to get uh, the constant will become 3x. Just be a bit careful with this next one. Uh, negative Increase the power by 1, 2, over 2. Oh, that was easy. Uh, and then don't forget, plus c. So now I know f of x. Now I just need to sub in a point. Sub point uh, for 2 into our equation. Okay. So we've got... Um, Oh, actually, let's sub in our point properly, shall we? y equals 2, 3 times 4 minus uh, 4 squared over 2 plus c. 2 equals 12. Okay, uh, 4 squared is 16, divided by 2 is 8, minus 8 plus c. So c is 2 minus 12 plus 8. Okay, 2 minus 12 is uh, negative 10, plus 8 is negative 2. All that's left is the therefore. Therefore, f of x equals 
3x minus x squared on 2 minus 2. And of course, you could check your work here or here by finding the derivative of that and making sure that it equals that, finding the derivative of that and making sure that it equals that, subbing in that point to whatever you've found and seeing that it works. Um, that's it, finding the c value.